You call me your husband when we went on our first vacation. Really? Yeah. If I were to get pregnant as a oops. <laughs> So why don't you catch him up? So what's been going on in my honey's world Man. that I don't already know? I should know <laughs> everything, but let's just see. Yeah, you know everything. Yeah, I know everything. everything. But so, catch him up. Okay, so as of recently, I've jumped. Talk a little closer to the mic. I've jumped. Uh, it's a little low, too. If we can AJ, turn, turn him up. up. Mm-hmm. Um, I jumped like head first into the TikTok world. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm starting to really find my lane there. Or whatever. It's yes, just fun. You are. It's just fun. I was, I was that that sibling. I was always that friend to actually just like make jokes and, you know, you see something and then you have an idea and you're like, oh, it would be so funny if this happened or that happened. With TikTok, you can actually do that, right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm having fun with it. And, and also, uh, and also, I mean, <clears throat> it's not even TikTok is not even just doing it just to do it anymore. People are actually like making a living off of TikTok, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is. But then I've, I've learned to uh, not focus on right. the monetary side. Just focus on, do I like doing this? Am I inspired? Is it fun? Right. Or whatever. And it has been. It has been. I've done some um, some some pretty fun things. Yeah, so... Um, if <laughs> Which requires you. you using the robe that I actually live in, honey. You, you're you using my robe that I actually live in. You're using my wig that needs tender love and care. And you're putting out to the world yeah. the wig that needs tender love and care. And everybody knows that it's my wig. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking crazy. Like, why is your wig like that? Right. As a true thespian and tapping into the method acting asset. God, um, honey, you know, you're, there's I wanna, no permission, I no use permission to using my robe that I lit. When I say live, I say I do everything in this robe. I do everything <laughs> in this robe. This is my safe zone. And you mm. are <laughs> making mm. it look crazy. Mm. And then my wig, her name is Noor. Mm -hmm. I know. I remember when I when, when I first wore her. Like I just, there's so many memories with Noor, and you're yeah. just making her look insane. I have put Noor and your robe on the map. <laughs> on they the were map. already on the map because I wore it on the map. Ask. I don't ask, even want them anymore. So you know what? Ask your fans. Did they? You know heard it here exclusively on After Class. You can keep my robe, that my favorite robe that I have ever owned. You can keep it, and you mm -hmm. can keep my wig. I can keep it. You can keep it. I don't even want it back anymore. It's yours. She said that. So once when it starts to look crazy and once when it starts to be all funky, it's because of Tally, not me. Okay. Trust me. Any funk that's there was there before Shut I acquired up. it. Shut <laughs> up. Absolutely the, not. That scalp. 
No, we've seen That's we've out. seen the action that you have done in both wigs in in both the wig and the robe. So very moving on, moving been, moving on because we don't have time. I've been very professional because I don't have the time with my props. Anyway, so yes, honey, you've yeah. actually you've been really great with TikTok. I think TikTok was an app that was really really made for you because you're able to not only you know like you're not. You're able to be goofy like people don't. I don't know if y'all know this, but Tally is like the goofiest person in this world. Him and his family. Look at him already. Look at look at him like they're so goofy. But it's funny that that doesn't come out until you're with obviously someone that you're comfortable with or like it just comes out naturally. But it doesn't come out with everybody because he's also so you guys know him so grounded, so like just um, intelligent and intellectual. So it's like you have those two sides. And with TikTok, you're able to really, really, you know, tip the seesaw over. And it's yeah. like all of your goofy shit. Yeah. And, you know, TikTok is dope, too, because not just for entertainment, but I have learned more off of going through the TikTok uh, tunnel or whatever, the TikTok rabbit hole mm-hmm. than a lot of other places. Now, yeah, you always have to you know, consider your source and and do your own research. But um, it's a lot of good information that that people put in these short little straight to the point bites. So TikTok is dope. So outside of the TikTok, I've actually recently started my YouTube channel, Tally B. So subscribe to Tally B. And um, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment and subscribe. Hey. Yeah. But it's really crazy because now I see like I've always known just from um, from helping you and working with, with with your different avenues on social media. But like. It is. It's a task. Sure is. It's 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 work. So yeah. you got to actually make sure that you enjoy what you're doing. I've yeah. had to like shift gears from certain uh, mediums of content that I was going to do because I'm like, wait, am I doing it because I think it's a great business opportunity or there's a there's a you know whatever here? But do I actually really want to do that? Am I excited to do this type of programming? Mm-hmm. Whatever. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that's so what can circle. people expect from your YouTube channel? So for my YouTube channel, the one thing that always rings out in my heart is, um, I'm a, I'm an educator. Yeah. You know, I've, I have an educating background, uh, Florida a and university music education major. And, um, I like teaching anything. Mm-hmm. And I think right now more so than any, than anything that's needed is teaching people how to love themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a company, uh, selfish, um, that's, yeah, yeah, self hyphen ish, and um, it's it's a it's a play on the word, um, but this is these are things for yourself, right? And, um, I really gravitate towards any type of entertainment or media that is actually infotainment or edutainment. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying so. Mm-hmm. I think that outside of what I do as an entertainer, acting, dancing, you know, making skits, uh, singing. Um, doing my gaming, vlogging, just vlogging our lives in the days that we live. Um, that will be one thing that I actually stick strongly to is helping people help themselves right, or whatnot. And just putting a mindset out there, um, which like, that's just an ongoing thing. So right now being here in Atlanta, uh, one of the advantages of being here is that like, you know, I have my roots here. So a lot of the resources and things that I didn't necessarily have, in LA, I actually have a lot of those resources out here in mm-hmm. Atlanta, and it's funny how sometimes you have to uh, put yourself in the in the right environment so that your talents are actually you know more viable or 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 more effective or whatever. So like now to shift over here, I got the YouTube going, got the TikTok going, um, helping you get settled and do your thing, continuing mm-hmm. what we've already started with the Brinson's channel. Mm-hmm. Um, your Queens and Lettos brand mm-hmm. and so many other things like so that's 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 where it is. Mm-hmm. You know? um, I got some I do have some private um, some independent projects that are pending. Um, Sheesh. Actually, while yeah. you're saying all this now, I'm just like, damn, there is so many things that are pending for mm-hmm. the both of us. Oh, my yeah. God. It's kind of hard to keep up with. That's what when you're in the entertainment industry, you got to understand, like, you're not always on the job per se but you're always on the job Mm -hmm. and part of that process is like you know with a seed that you plant there's a process of germination that seed has to process before it actually sprouts and um if you don't if you never plant that seed and give it the time and the nourishment to actually grow Mm -hmm. 
it, it will never come up if you just keep jumping from one thing to the next or whatnot. So like these seeds that I planted over years are finally about to sprout. Mm -hmm. And of course, when they all sprout, it's going to be like, oh, man, overnight success and everything like that. It's like, nah, it's not overnight. Mm -hmm. It took a long time, a lot of manifestation, a lot of visualizing, a lot of alignment. Mm -hmm. um, The one thing that I keep the one thing that I keep kind of like hopping out of is 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 kind of like what is best? What is the best route for people to take to focus on one thing or to have all of these things that are like potential, potential, uh, you know, um, overnighters or whatever, or whatever you want to call it, like actually great things that could happen for you. Like what is, <clears throat> what's the best route to take to have, you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And I think, and I think that's kind of like what, our dynamic is just like between us two is like I have well at first now I'm kind of getting into a lane where it's like there's so many things happening and I'm giving my energy every single day to all of these different businesses all of these different projects so kind of like multitasking but we kind of know we kind of know like um the definition of multitasking and we know that it's it may not be the best but if you think about it in a different way or if you use it a certain way it can actually benefit you because you have it's like you have all of these like think about the carnival game and you're shooting at one target or everybody's shooting at one target and it's like everything is slowly like moving up or whatever at its Mm -hmm. own pace yeah. And you know that if that doesn't happen, then you already know this is going to happen. Or if this doesn't happen, da, 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 da. But then on the other side, I hop back into, but damn, should I be focusing on one thing? And I know that kind of has been your, your, um, your test, mm-hmm. if you will, because yeah. you're so multifaceted. I mean, we're all multifaceted, but you especially. So what do you think about that? Because now I'm kind of like, no, I'm not going to focus on just one thing because mm-hmm. if this one thing doesn't work out on this day, I'm going to be doing after class. If I'm not doing after class and I'm doing Q&L, if I'm not doing yeah. Q&L, I'm going to be on the project that I'm on. If I'm not doing this, then I'm going to record some music if I'm not recording. So to answer your question, <laughs> <laughs> the right answer is actually oh. a question you have to ask yourself. And how do you feel when you're either A, doing one thing, or when you're B, doing multiple things. And then you have to de- decide, okay, if I am going to do multiple things, how many things can I do simultaneously and still keep that feeling of success, the feeling of um, acquiring and hitting your targets mm-hmm. towards your goal. Mm-hmm. So even though you're doing podcast, class, um, on set and everything like that, it's all for your empire. So you are still. It's all for one big thing. In essence, and this is how we, this is the mind game. This is the alchemy behind it. You are still doing one thing. Right. You're just working on multiple aspects. Right. Now, I think that that is totally subjective to each person because I have come into the space where I've always been multifaceted and there has been a time in my life where doing five, six, seven major things at the same time was viable. Mm -hmm. I could do that. Mm -hmm. Um, But there's an ebb and flow. It's not always going to be that way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the universe, God, the energy, your vibration is pointing you towards one thing or two things. Um, And the only way you can answer that question is how do you feel when you're doing it? Mm -hmm. I have had um, the the sense of feeling stretched and Mm. being spreading myself too thin. Mm. Um, at some point mm-hmm. and um, that was totally different mm-hmm. because all my life has been everything at the same time go mm-hmm. go go and it, it even it, it's like I do everything the same way like when I cook I cook everything at the same time and clean the kitchen and <laughs> check emails <laughs> at the same time mm-hmm. some days that works good some days it doesn't mm. or whatnot some days I say alright I need to cook this first put it aside cook this first put it aside cook this first Cause that's how I cook Right, that's how you cook all the time, and that, yeah. that lends to your your personality yeah. or whatnot. So I started to to notice those things. I'm like, dang, that's crazy. Like it actually, you know, they do those crazy personality tests, mm-hmm. you know, and they ask you off the wall questions. You're like, what does this have to do with anything? But it really does have to do with the fabric of your, of mm-hmm. your um, programming. So, but I, I always ask, 
how do you feel? If yeah. you're doing a whole bunch of things and you feel like a chicken with your head cut off. Yep. And they're seemingly from the outside successful. Yeah. At the end of the day, you got to ask what price are you paying energetically? Mm-hmm. Because there will come a time where you will, you can burn yourself out. Right. And I've done that. I've been there. Yeah. You know, burn yourself out. And then it's just like, nothing feels good. People need to find that balance though, because I bet you if like the people who that are listening to this or watching this right now, they're like, yes, exactly. And that's probably what they, that's probably what they feel when they, when they're trying to, you know, lend themselves out to so many of their different projects or so many yeah. of their responsibilities. They do feel like they're, you know, a chicken with their head cut off. So yeah. they'll probably, they'll, you know, kind of like wind down or, or they'll push back a little bit, but you kind of have to find that balance too. Cause you don't want to push back too much to where nothing is getting done right. or one thing is taking forever ever mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what i mean mm-hmm. and that's what i sometimes observe with you like sometimes it'll take something a little longer mm-hmm. for you because you don't want to feel crazy and you want to you mm-hmm. want to take your time and mm-hmm. it's also great because that's how mm-hmm. you know that the project is going to be of quality yeah. whatever it is that you're working on is going to be right up to mm-hmm. your standard blah, blah 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 but then it's like okay but what's most important is it getting it out so you can move on to the next thing mm-hmm. or is it of the quality? So, but it's just finding that balance. And I think for me, I can say I'm, I'm proud that most of the things that I'm doing and most of the things that are pending right now, they're of quality, but then I feel like things are also getting done and things are moving. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's, there's progression. That's yeah. The, that's the season that you're in. Right. You're, you're, you're there. If you probably, if you would have done all of these things at a different time in your life, it it could have very well just went all to hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm your so... Alignment, your alignment for where you are right now and what you're doing is, it, you feel the drive and the purpose and the want. Yes. And the, and the, I'm, and, so, yeah. I'm so focused more than ever to where I kind of like running around with my chicken with, right. with like a chicken with my head cut off yeah I like I feel like that is that is my prime state at this point yeah because I feel like I'm almost there for all of the people who are listening I feel like all of the work that I've put in with Q&L is finally like sprouting and expanding into other things and ooh, I, I actually went on Instagram live yesterday yeah. and I was ooh, I was so close to giving them a sneak peek of you know what yeah but I was like nah 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 Nah, nah. <laughs> Let them wait. Let them wait. There's so many things, you guys. Oh my god! And I'm just so focused. And I think what I'm focused, what I'm focused on, and I really want this to act. Whoever is listening or watching, I want this to act as a sign to you. You are watching this because it is your moment to get the fuck started, or you moment. are con- you have to continue whatever it is that you started a long time ago. Whatever it is that you put on pause, you got to go back into it. Yeah, because you're but doing yourself your, a big align disservice. Your, align your energy. If yeah, it's about the vibration. It's about your energy. It's about your mood. That's that. That's gonna dictate that. And it doesn't mean you have to feel good about it before you start, but mm-hmm. you need to be looking for the things that is going to give you that inspiration, that feeling. You got to gotta open, it. you got to open yourself up. You got to decide that you're going to get back into it. And you just got to maybe like, like Tally said, cause that he actually made a really great point. Like you have to have your energy. You have to want it. Y'all you have, you actually have to decide how, how, how much do you want it? Is it even worth it? Is it even worth putting in all this time and all this energy, uh, energetic work and, and all of that and being focused. Yeah. I want it. I want, this is what I want. So what I, what I'm currently focusing on right now in Tally and I's relationship is I'm ready for this wedding. <laughs> and everybody's <laughs> like, bitch, I am so tired of hearing this wedding. When are y'all getting pregnant? The never ending engagement. The never, oh God, the we never. Engaged forever. Oh my God. And I love, I love that we've been engaged for two years, but I'm so ready to take it to the next level. Yeah. I'm so ready. I'm not, I don't want to call you fiance anymore. Mm-hmm. I really don't. Don't. <laughs> Actually, I've been calling my, I've been calling him my husband since probably like the first month that we've been together. Cause I was just like, I already knew. I definitely use the word husband more than he uses the word wife, which is why I want to hurry up and get married. Because I just know, I just know that he's kind of like, he's like, um, he's really, really 
squeezing out all of the juice from this engagement and really like taking the time to enjoy it because he knows that we're about to get married soon so it's like we're, we're never going to be able to call each other fiance again no but i'm ready it's already been two years let's move the fuck on i'm ready too because guess why y'all exclusively talk to, talk to corona and them. Ex- talk to Ronan and them. true exclusively on after class I am damn near like I feel like I feel like my motherhood, my my that just essence of me is like slowly, slowly like it's bl- almost blooming. Like if this was a flower, give them, give them the, it's the like picture. that. If it's supposed to be like this, it's like mm. <laughs> and yeah, like I, um, I almost have baby fever, y'all. I almost have like I. How many t- how many times do, do how, how many times do I s- say something about like baby stuff all the time? Often, we least. send each other we send each other yeah. baby pictures. We send each other like baby videos and stuff. I'm almost there. Like I'm almost to that point where if I were to get pregnant, like as a oops, mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> I think that's why you. There it is. I think that's why you're driven right now more than anything mm. in, a, in, in the same way because it's like we want to have certain things in place and we want to have certain uh, means, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? When that happens, cause that, that doesn't mean everything when it comes to, you know, uh, parenting and, uh, and being a family, but uh, it does, it does help the journey. Mm-hmm. So that's probably why your vibration is where it is. Mm-hmm. That, so. And let's not get it twisted. Even if I were to get pregnant, I'm still going to be doing what the fuck I'm doing. Right, right. There's right. no way There's I'm stopping. There's another set of considerations. Right. And a lot of people don't think about that before they have kids, um, you know, and they have to make that adjustment after they do have children. But let's get juicy. Where are yeah. you at with having kids? Oh, I'm, I'm always ready. I'm the type of person that um, I, I let it flow, you know, Bruce Lee be water. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, so you wouldn't be angry if I got pregnant? No. You wouldn't be like, damn. No. Would you be it, stressed? You know what? It's Honestly, a, honey. No, no, no. And it's not It's not so much more f- for myself. It's just because I want you to be able to experience. I want you to like, I want you to want it so much mm-hmm. when it does happen. Mm-hmm. I don't want it to be a. Um, well, let's just make it work. Right. I don't want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would prefer mm-hmm. for it to be something where you're just like so, 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 so ready. It's so crazy because I feel like once when people get to that point, though, it like it doesn't God like just knock on wood. But I just observing life and observing different women. It's yeah. like once when they're OK, I'm ready. Once when they decide that they're ready, mm-hmm. it's hard for them to get pregnant because it's like you're overwatering the seed. Is that and the, then is that the story that you're going to live for yourself? No, I'm just saying I'm just it's just an observation. Yeah. Like we just need to be I think for you and I, we just need to be at a point where we're like, you know, <laughs> We're all, we're going to stay ready so we don't have to get ready. Right, right, right. You yeah, know, and yeah. we're not going to force it. It's just going to happen naturally whenever the whenever God, whatever, whenever the universe sees fit. Yeah, I'm not waiting on anything in particular to happen for us to say, all right, let's have children. Um, it's 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 a it's an energy thing. Mm-hmm. You know? It's an energy, mm-hmm. it's an energy, thing. because let's okay because you weren't here last episode well actually we didn't really even talk about it because i didn't want to talk about it but explain to them your feeling when we realized that fawny was lost oh man yeah so so. that that was like our sneak peek into freaking like parenting like oh my i didn't know how broken how like how destroyed i would be if anything Again, God forbid, if anything like happened to Fani, and Fani yeah. is apps is a okay now, so I so I think it's easier for us to talk about it because we know that he's safe or whatever. But damn, that was just now we really, really kind of feel parents when they're like so overprotective with their kids, and like if anything were to happen, or when they get lost, or when they're out, or when they're by themselves, or when when they're being taken care of by somebody else, it's just crazy. But can you explain because you had a totally different. Well, not a totally different experience, but you just were in a different mode while mm-hmm. I was fucking broken down. Yeah. The first thing is like, first of all, I have, I've had, this was your first personal 
pet. Yeah, first, first baby. Not, not your Literally. first pet because you had what a you had a yeah, a but rabbit. it's different. You had a hamster. Yeah, I did. Yeah, a gerbil Aww, or something. Shout out to Diego. Diego. R.I.P. R.I.P. Little thing. I used to hold him like this. Let me pour one out for Diego. <laughs> um, <laughs> see you, Diego. Um, this is your yes. stepdad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't even have a man at that time, so no, this is your dad. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've, I've, I've had dogs in the past and, um, had the not so fortunate circumstances of losing them in uh, different ways. And, uh, the main thing that I remember is how it, how it happens and how the energies were around when it did happen. So when I got the call that a, he was missing my first thing was, all right, just keep, chills. keep your energy solid. Because I'm sitting right next to her in the car. And she got the call first, but she ignored it because we were in the garage. It might have been bad reception. But when I noticed the call that just went through for her, for her came to me, I'm like, hmm. I automatically knew that something was up. And um, I'm also talking to the person that's looking for him. So my goal is to not frazzle this person any beyond where they are already are. There will be a t- if something does happen and go. There will be time to lay into them and let them feel all the wrath and all that good stuff. But at but this point, the, yeah, the, yeah, at this point, won't serve anything. Yeah. So <laughs> when you ask me, like, uh, yeah, so uh, what did your dad? What did, what did my dad say? I paused. And that's how I knew. That's how I knew something was wrong. I would rather tell you with my silence than say the wrong words and some words that just echo and just like you will always remember the phrase. That that you know that th- those words can be very impactful. He wanted he wanted to proceed with caution. I wanted to be very sensitive <laughs> because as to because I'm 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 here I'm here not only you know what I'm saying to for myself but I'm here to uh, help you be, be in the right state of mind, the right state of mind to be the best you right while you're doing what you're doing, which right. helps me be in my best state. I love seeing you in your best state. That's yeah. just you know that's how it is. Mm-hmm. But um but yeah, so I was like okay how do I express this uh, in the right words or whatnot? And then, uh, yeah, and then we got upstairs. I swear we, we didn't say a word. We went from the parking lot um, level, 14 floors, 15, 16, 17 floors up, and then walked all the way down the hallway, walked into the room, not a word, closed the door and click, click. Because at this point, he already told me that my dad was trying to look for fun. I went and put my bag down. You went and put your stuff down. And then we both We don't want to give into it. And we both looked at each other and said. <sighs> <laughs> no, we were like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was more like that. We were trying to hold in so, like panic. We were trying to hold in You anger. did real good though. She did really good because she got on the phone. She called. She, I was like, I know it's going to come out at some point. But it was a good 45 seconds of conversation and talking and understanding. And then I let it out. And then she let it out. And I was like, then okay, I panicked. Then I, I went into panic mode. And I'm the type of person like I, I, I instantly, if someone breaks down in front of me or cries or anything like that, I instantly turn into the strong. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, we can't both be down in here. You know what I'm saying? Right. But right. somebody, but you got to release it, which, which is a gift, you know, to be able to release that. I'm not saying like. You know, we got to get rid of that old cliche like yeah. men don't cry, right? And don't, don't express Over themselves. It. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's, that's old news. Uh, but there is a time. There's a time for it. So I, my whole thing was keep the energy right. Keep the energy right. Yes. Keep, see him. Hear that phone call. Just yes. know it's going to be okay. Know that it's going to be okay. And what were we? Yeah. What were? Blah, what were we saying? I was like. We found him. 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 I was Mm -hmm. literally saying that in my head the whole time. Like I would hop in and out from panicking. I would hop from, you know, uh, being in a right state of mind and just hearing the words. We found him. We found him. We found him. We found him. So this is literally us like literally diving into what we believe in, which is the law of attraction. Whatever we put out is what we're going to receive. Right. So this is exactly the, this, this is a perfect example of us applying, you know what I mean? Um, these different, you know, tips and tricks or, Mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Um, but I, we would literally say it together. We found him, we found him, we found him, we found him, we found him. Yeah. And then I would hop into panicking and being like, (laughs) Yeah, and this I was, is a disaster. Right. I'm not. This is the worst trip ever. Just like, 
Oh yeah, my yeah, baby. Yeah. You was you was you was seesawing, so which is which is which is normal, you know what I'm saying, when your maternal instincts kick in. I didn't want to hear shit. Finally, yeah, a lot of y'all know like finally he might as well just be a child, our child. Yeah. Or whatnot. So, you know, you have those moments of like, why this, why that? Why would th- why would this happen? Why would he do this? Why would he do that? And then I have to be like, okay, reel it back in, reel it back in. That's not the focus right now. Right. The focus is, all right, what are we gonna do from this point on? Right. I, I was already thinking, what are we gonna do once once we find him? Mm. What, you know, I was trying to put myself in that future tense or whatever. Mm, like, mm. Okay. I'm like, I can't wait to beat him. You know what I'm saying? Like I would love. I would love. He would have gotten the ultimate punishment. If- yeah, God. but I really, we really don't beat funny. But no, it, just, it sounds good to say it. You know, I'm a beat the <laughs> butt. But thank you. no, he definitely like. Oh my god, I grab him by that scruff. Yeah, I still pick him up with one hand. Yeah, he gets into dad mode. Um, but we have been practicing like letting him off the leash and having his, having his time, like his rewards, but we'll just, where we just let him run off. No bitch. You are staying on this fucking leash until you freaking, until you old at this point. But no, that was a scare, but it was also a really big lesson for us. So, you know, we're, we're alchemists as we, as we always say, and Mm -hmm. we always, always, there's a lesson to be learned in every bad situation or any situation like that there's always something to learn there's always something to take from Mm -hmm. from it you know what i mean um you don't go through the hurt for any for nothing you go through the hurt to come out stronger yeah so um that's definitely what we learned yeah and that was a flash forward to you can't be afraid to uh especially if you for one you know you should always be watching your children and have people you trust watching your children but you have to make sure that you give all the information you have to make sure that you check in you got to make sure you 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 understand who you're dealing with who you're leaving in charge mm. um of of, mm. of, of your loved that's ones a big one and whatnot and um we we we've we're in it, it's it's it, the situation has definitely got much better you know your dad i know he just like uh felt so bad yeah whatever that that happened mm-hmm. but you know us as men we we feel like sometimes like I got this. We got Don. You gonna listen to me? You know, mm-hmm. more than he listen to you and da 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 da. Mm-hmm. And then, but is it worth the risk? So yeah, that's what you gotta ask yourself. Is it worth the risk? You know yeah, I mean? so. and in that, and in that, just to bring it all back, being in that situation together and going going through what we have gone through, I'm like, we would make a pretty great team. We do yeah. make a really great team. We make good parents. Right. Right. So. Hmm. just kidding but um no it's so great it's so great to like go through life or whatever and and just like reconfirm Mm -hmm. all the time just every single moment that like it reminds me this really works yeah it reminds me of something that um i actually just watched uh the interview that uh big sean did with um oh yeah tell us about that jay shetty jay shetty is a um i would say he's a self-help connoisseur um come on after class yeah yeah i know right um look him up if you haven't man a lot of y'all know big shine as an artist um he was talking about uh love as a technique or whatever and um some people think that oh to say that love is a technique is too like it's oh that's not the purpose it's not a technique it's just flow and free flowing and yes it is but you got to remember that everything is balanced so there is a there is a technique when you're trying to build that 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 response and build that muscle just like something traumatic potentially traumatic happened we had to use the technique of grounding ourselves visualizing the outcome that we wanted right as opposed to giving into the current reality right 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 and just like being all out distraught or whatnot you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. now there were multiple powers working in that sense your dad's energy your mom's energy my sister's energy my sister actually happens to live near where her dad um lives and she showed up with Fonny's playmate sky which is a pit bull that my sister owns and uh they helped find him so it's like all right are we adding the right energy to this combination or are we adding worse energy right and if it's worse you got to detach Step yourself. Back. Yeah. Step back. Let the people who are thinking right, right, or whatnot, right, and feeling right, mm-hmm. do it and mm-hmm. find it or whatever. But um, that love as a technique that he expressed or whatever, it's it, it kind of trickles into into that. That was a really good discussion too that they had. Like, so what? It, so what all did you take from that? Um, overall, like from this interview with Big Sean, you know, I'm I'm sure you have certain um 
people in the world who you see a parallel towards where like, you're like, wow, we have a lot of similarities, their upbringing or their practices, their, their, their policies, the things that they live by. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a lot of similarities in the things that he talked about and how his career spanned out and how his life was. Now we came from very, we came from different backgrounds. Um, but his uh, spiritual growth, um, as well as his career growth mm -hmm. and how things went hand to hand and his relationship, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Him and Janae, mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the fabric of understanding that the way that the world is set up right now is not really optimal to our success. The way that society, um, economics, mm. um, politics, mm. the way that so many of these areas are innately set up goes against uh, it's very opposite right. of the truth of our, our, our best selves. Right. And uh, that's, that was pretty much the overtone. I mean, he went into a lot of details about, about different things or whatnot, but I, I think that's the overall takeaway tone and, and yeah. And tone. And he talks about, you know, the ego, you know, a lot of people talk about, Oh, you need to kill your ego and this and that you can't, you can't kill your ego, you know, and I'm quoting him, but I understand what that meant is because for so long I've, I've focused on like, you know, kill your ego, put your ego to the side and boom, boom, boom. Mm. But your ego, but you, 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 Jay-Z said it. Sometimes you need your ego. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to show these fools. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it depends on what line of business you're in because there is the world that we live in and then there is the real world. Mm. I think that's something that he said too. He said, there's mm. reality. Jesus. There's reality. Um, having a, you know, pay bills and take care of your health and everything like that. And then there's the reality, mm. all caps. The re the reality is the thing that we can't see or touch mm. or feel necessarily. Mm. It's the energetic aspect that really makes up what, what you're doing. That's why I said, it doesn't matter if you're just focusing on one thing or 10 things, right. how do you feel when you're doing it? Right. You could be focusing on that one thing and it will bring you to the goal. Right. You can be focused on that ten, those ten things feeling good, and it can bring you still to the goal. bring me to the goal. But if you're doing the one thing feeling like I'm not doing enough, right? There you have it. You're right. not doing enough. If you're doing two, th ten things and saying I'm doing too, too much, much, woo! You're, you're, you're basically just spelling. Dang, listen, y'all. You're, you're saying you're, you're listen. You're giving yourself the script, right? You're thinking the script, right? Everything you think and feel and speak is actually happening in your life over and over and over and over again. And so you, can, you are the problem. You the problem. You are the problem. I am the problem. I am my only problem. You are the problem. <laughs> you are. Nobody else. I actually was literally telling this to my to my IG live yesterday while I was in my trailer mm. waiting. You got you are stopping yourself. The reason why it hasn't happened for you is because of you. Okay. You are standing in your own way. But then in the same sense, let me say this. What? You are the problem, but yeah. you are also so the solution. So the solution. Yeah. Caught that, right? Yes. Because, again, we're so used to. What is that, to, a double entendre? I don't know what that is. Is that a dance move? I'm just playing. Um, I know what that is. You're the word. You say that. I got that word from you. Is that a double entendre? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Yeah. I don't know. No. Either way, leave this leave stop listening or not stop listening sometimes you just gotta go on use about your day after good. yeah go on go on about your day um after you watch this or after you listen to this and literally just take away if you don't take anything from this just please please keep that statement with you which is what honey I said a lot of good stuff. Um, I just let it. Fall. The last thing that you said, you are the. Pr you you are the problem and the solution. You are the problem, and also the solution, or but or but this. <laughs> you are the problem, but also the solution. It's, Boom. Okay. I like, and also the solution. Look, and I, I and. like to refer to a lot of music. You remember at the beginning of um, what was that Pharrell song? Uh, uh, is it Lemon? What song is that? The hurt will set you free, and then you gotta piss you off or whatever. Yeah, the the truth will set, set you, you free, free, but it'll also piss you off. But first, it's gonna piss you off. Oh, but first, I don't even know if I'm saying if I'm yeah. calling it specifically. But is that it? But, yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. The but team is nodding. That is very true. You have you. It's like some people are Whew, in the phase. Some good stuff. Some people are in the phase of just realizing the problem, 
just like with so many things, some people are just realizing that racism exists. Right. Some people are just realizing that economic disparity exists. Right. Uh, some people are just not realizing. So first, it's going to make you mad. It's going to make you, it's going to piss you off. But you have to get beyond that point. Right. And get into the solution vibration. Right. If you, some of y'all and some of us, let me say some of us are stuck in the discovery of the problem and you're living in the discovery of the problem. And right. All you're doing is regurgitating. Right. The problem, the problem, mm. the problem. Mm, mm-hmm. Talk. You got to, you got to find a space to talk more about the solution, the possibilities. Yeah. Um, you got to paint that world. I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. Martin Luther King's, I have a dream speech was just a massive visualization. Yeah. Yeah. Meditation. Yeah. That he did with yeah. all those people out there and that vibration of everybody thinking about what he was painting, the picture he was painting visually mm-hmm. and, um, and, um, energetically through his words that eventually came to fruition in an aspect. Mm-hmm. Now there's still some, 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 that's deeper, so true, honey. You know, so we got We got to continuously, continuously do that. You know, I will say, but to end this off, I will say it is, it is okay to be mad. It is okay to, it, it is okay to be. So you have, you need to it's discover. Yeah. You need to discover your process. And I think everybody has a common, has a common process, at least when it comes to you want to get mad and you, and your feelings are valid because the last thing that you're going to want to do is, is be too ahead of yourself and be like, Oh, well, getting mad mad is not going to feed me so let's just sweep it under the rug and yeah. find a temporary find a temporary solution or find a temp or find a distraction so that you're not you know in that in that anger energy yeah. you know what you, i mean but it's okay to, it's okay to be mad it's again it's about the technique how do you get mad mm-hmm. but it's a technique you use it's just throwing like, shit it's I'm just like everybody had like <laughs> like women you have a technique that you use when it comes to applying your makeup right you can do two totally different techniques and get two totally different results. Okay. Um, but they're moving towards you painting your face. Right. Essentially, right? Right. Um, if I use my technique of anger to be venge- to to uh, to to be vindictive. Right. Okay, that's going to make me feel good in the moment. Right. But is that vindication? It's not going to solve anything. It 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 will it will be a temporary solving, but has it actually created a bigger problem? Or whatnot, but you still yeah. that doesn't mean you can't get mad, right? You have to find out what is the technique of my anger. How do I spill my anger out so that I can move to the next phase? I'd mm. rather, I'd rather mm. be move ang- to the next phase. I'd rather move be forward. angry than depressed, right? I'd rather be angry than sad. There it is, right there, you know. But sometimes yeah. it hits you so hard that you got to be sad first until you get mad first until you move up, yeah. The levels. Um, if you mm. ever if you need mm. resources in terms of these specific levels. Sorry. <laughs> That's <laughs> so good. You in uh, your bag, honey. Ever Esther Go ahead. Hicks. Sorry. Esther Hicks. Re- research Esther Hicks. E S T H E R H I C K S mm-hmm. uh, slash Abraham Hicks. Mm-hmm. Try to find her earliest videos and watch them so you understand the aspect that she's coming from first. Because you may you may need the preface. You may need the foundation to fully understand what she what she teaches right and what abraham teaches um but uh big sean talked about talked a lot about that and i was like oh that's why when in a lot of his rhymes and a lot of his songs he's saying he be dropping that, that shit like, i'm like oh wait hold on he, he be just, knowing about it you know what i'm saying and and he has a good balance between like party time you know how to have a good time and know yeah. how to just like you know what i'm saying be in his bag also grounded also knows his book yeah, yeah, but he's spell. also grounded. So, you know, he has a good, good, good balance in that. If I could take that idea of what he's doing and apply that to multiple areas, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, in the makeup of my life and my existence, mm-hmm. then that would be it. And and there are a lot of successful people who are doing exactly what he's come upon or whatever. Mm-hmm. They just might not be out in the media mm-hmm. or whatnot. So, mm-hmm. you know, I think that's a good takeaway from from that yeah yeah damn i hope i think i'm gonna i think we're gonna cut it short because i actually this is what i'm dealing with just today just so you just so you know right so i was on i was working all the way up until 2 a.m last night Mm. got home stayed up for like another 40 minutes or whatever Mm. because i needed to you know we needed to have our coming together and our debriefing (laughs) then we needed to wake up early this morning Mm. because i needed to set everything up because i had to i have to go back on set later on today only to find out 
that while I'm doing what the fuck I'm doing for myself and for my businesses, I have to go on to set two hours earlier, but I'm going to, I'm going to play dumb. So don't tell. I'm going to play dumb and be like, oh, hmm. I didn't know. I thought it was the original. But they can't pull that shit at the last minute like that. I mean, they? you actually didn't know until right now. We're already here. Let's get it in. Let's get it. Um, <laughs> it just is yeah. what it is. It's not like you were sitting in the bed, got the email. Oh, I'm supposed to be on set this time. Now, nah, forget that. Like, we're, we're actually already here. Right, you know, right. You'll make up for so it. So that's why I have you, to you cut. Sat, you sat around for a while before you did anything the yeah. other day. So. so that's why I do have to cut this episode short, y'all. But I feel like we have, I think this is such a good place. Like, anytime that I bring my honey onto, you know, onto the podcast, know that we're always going to talk some good stuff and i need y'all to listen with open ears and open like hearts. Pr- open hearts and it's so productive these conversations because we talk really good i really need you guys like i really want to stress to you guys to run this back and watch it again because all of the things that we talked about is the reason why we are in a space that we're in which is just happiness and and, and success and just we're having fun. Life is fun. And that's what life is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be hard work. It's not supposed to be going from miserable day from Monday, Monday through Thursday, only to have such a great time Friday through Sunday. Like you're not supposed to only live for three days. You're supposed to live every fucking damn day of the week. Yeah. Every year, every month, every second, or maybe not every second, because we're human. I'm not going to say like, I don't get mad or I don't get, you know, out of my character. Cause I do. Yeah. But that's my, that's also my technical process. My process is is getting mad. Yeah, exactly. Your alignment. Yes. Yes. To get back to a nice state of mind that I'm usually in. Um, But I want to thank you, honey, for coming on to the show. Once again, you guys are, you guys are always going to see him and he is also, which I'm going to help him. I'm going to push him because I also know that he can have a selfish talk podcast to where he's leading the conversations and I'll be on, I'll be guesting and other people. But anyway, that's coming, living in our truth, living, living in the moment, just be having present. fun, being present. And the biggest thing for us too is to relay all of this information that we learn day to day to you guys because we want you to we want you guys to be happy. We want you guys to be successful. Whatever whatever it is that you're doing, you can be whatever it is that you want. You can win. You can win, Lord. You can win. You're already winning. You're already winning. Yes, exactly. So um, this is from us to you guys. Please, please, please watch this episode back again. Yep. We're going to thank my honey. We're going to thank Excel. We're going to thank Pandaco Media. Hey. We are going to have an amazing day yeah. here on out. We're always, we're always going to have the best day every yeah. freaking day. Every day. Every day. All right, y'all. So you are listening to After Class. We got Ali up in the building. Say what's up? Hey. We got the king up in the building. Say what's up? Hey. And we'll see you next time here on After Class next week. Peace out.